All right, so I'm going to start by throwing the teapot body first. Of course, I'm going to get it centered after I turn the wheel on. The main thing when throwing a teapot body is that you got to keep that opening small. If the opening gets really large, then it's going to start to look like a bucket or a bowl instead of a teapot. So you want the opening to be small. Now I'm just centering. All right, once I've got it centered, then I'm ready to open up. Just open with my thumbs. The bottom's going to be flat of the teapot. I'm not going to trim a foot on the bottom of the teapot, so it'll just be a regular quarter of an inch thick base. So I'm going to take my needle tool and check the thickness. should be a quarter of an inch. So now is when you need to maintain the size of the opening at the top of the teapot. The shape of your teapot is really up to you. You can do more of a cylinder, you can do more like a sphere. There's a lot of different shapes you could use for it. Just try to keep the opening small. Already looks better than what I would have. So I'm gonna make mine kind of rounded. A small opening. I'll probably literally did that in 30 seconds. It'll take me like an hour. Got a lot of practice. If you want to make it more round, then you're gonna reach in on the inside and then press out. Slowly lifting your hand up, see how it's making it more rounded by bulging it out a little bit. So that probably means you just need to go a little bit slower with your hand. Yeah. If you bring your hand up real fast and you'll put kind of a spiral in it, you'll get a twist to it. I'm going to trim up the bottom just a little bit. I'm just creating a little bit of a design in it. Tool. You could also use the wooden rib to do that. Sometimes having little lines kind of carved into the clay, they look nice when they're glazed because they make the glaze cool and create a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so I'm going to get the water out with a sponge on a stick. And then I'm going to mix. So these are the calipers. They are kept in the drawers over there to the left of the sink. And then there's two sides to the calipers. This measures the outside of something, and this measures the inside of something. And I want my lid to fit down inside of this opening, so I'm going to measure the inside of the opening. So I'll adjust this so it fits exactly inside of there. And that's the measurement that I'm going to use for my lid. Okay, so the lid of the teapots is one pound of clay. And then I'm going to it's center little. and throw this. What? It's little. It's cute. Oh, yeah. Just All right. I know, bit. but it's cute already. You're still recording? Yep. It's, I'm fine. All right. Yep, I am recording. There's your face. There's the clay. All right, so you're going to center the clay and then flatten it out. And then you're going to go to your calipers. And then the clay should be just a little bit wider than that measurement. Okay. Okay? Why wider? You'll see in a second. Okay. So then I'm going to open up in the middle, but not go all the way through. I'm just going to open it up about a quarter of an inch thick, and then pull back on this. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a flange that's going to fit down inside of the teapot. It looks a lot like, remember the foot ring that we trimmed on the bottom of the bowl? It looks a lot like that, except for you're going to throw it instead of trim it. Oh dear. Doesn't that kind of look like the foot ring? No. Yeah. It kind of looks like the foot ring. Yeah. It's a little bit bigger, but okay. it looks kind of similar. Sure. So that's a flange, this thing that's sticking up, that's round. This is the part of this. And you can see how I'm going to then flip this over, and it's going to fit down inside of there. It's going to fit down inside of there. Now I have to check the size. I haven't checked the size yet. I think I'm the next Steven Spielberg, but I mean, 
getting some skill. I'm pretty confident in myself. Oh, yeah. So you measure the inside of the opening with this end, oh. but then I want to measure the outside of that, so then I turn it over. Because this is the exact same dimension as this that. This measures the inside of something. This measures the outside of something. Well, I see. You got that? It's on camera, so. You can see it doesn't fit around there, so it's too big, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have to go back and make that a little bit smaller, so I'll put my fingers around it. Squeeze. Okay, so now you can see that it fits around the flange. It goes all the way down to um, this part right here, which is going to rest on the top of the teapot. And also, you see how much this clay is going to overhang? I'm going to have a big yeah. old shoulder hanging over here. I don't want that much, so I'm going to go ahead and trim some of that off here now. How can you make it all cute on the top? So, <laughs> what we'll do... That needs to make it in. How do you make it all cute? What we'll do is um, let it dry to leather hard. And then next time we have class, I'm going to show you how to, how to do that. I'll trim it, I'll turn it over, center it, and then I'll trim the top. So mm -hmm. it's nice and rounded. And then you can put a little ball on top. You could, yeah. Oh, God. Put a little flour on top. <laughs> Half a pound of clay. I think it's the only hard part is centering half a pound of clay is kind of difficult because it's such a small piece. Once it's centered, then you're just going to take your finger. I rest it on this hand so that it's really steady. And then I'm going to open up all the way to the back. Okay. Once I open that up, I'm going to widen the inside at the bottom only. So I took my finger and I kind of hooked it around to open up the inside. Mm -hmm. Because my spout's going to taper just a little bit like this. Neat. I gotcha. You got yeah, let me, yeah, wait, go ahead and do that again. I want the spout to kind of taper like this. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to slow down a little bit and then do my pulls. When you're doing the pulls for the spout, you're just going to keep one finger on the inside only. Oh dear. You can use a sponge or just your fingers to pull up on the outside. And the opening at the top of the spout has to be pretty small. For now, it's just the size of my finger only. That's still, I think that's too big for the spout. So what I'll do now, after I've pulled it up, I want to pull it nice and thin all the way to the top. Uh -huh. I'm going to start by squeezing it at the bottom. Yeah. And then bringing my fingers up slowly. Just like that. All right, and then you can't get the sponge in there, so then to get the water out, you're just going to pour it out like that. There's Mary. Serious business now. Okay, so first thing I'll do is trim up the pot just a little bit before I start so many other parts. Um, the nice thing about trimming the teapot when it's still in the bath is that you don't have to flip it over and center it with the clay around it. Just leave it attached to the bath and then you put it on your knees to trim it away. So don't cut it off right after you leave the stuff. Now I'm going to size up to see if that fits okay. I'm going to make sure that it fits all the way down. You can see mine, it's, it doesn't quite fit all the way down. It's just a little bit tall. So I'm going to trim just a tiny little bit off of... I'll check it again to make sure. You can see how it fits down on there now? Yep. So now this thing's pretty thick. I am going to trim that down quite a bit so that it fits on there a little better. So then now I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to center this just like we did when we trimmed the bowl in trimmings too. Spinning slowly. And I'm going to stop when it gets closest to my finger. Which direction do I move it? Away. Bit and then check again. Okay, so now 
Maybe you asked me about this. Skilled here. This is how it is done, guys. Serious business. Leave it like that, please. <laughs> this might be the cutest throw ever. Oh boy. We'll start about here. And then cut down. So I want the top of the spout about even with the top of the pot. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's cute. But you can see the spout is not fitting because my teapot is round. So I'm going to have to cut the spout even so that it's rounded. Mm -hmm. Which can be a little bit tricky just again, using the guess and check. And then I'm going to test it again so it fits a little better. Yeah. So that's where I want it. And I'm going to take my knife. Wow, my teapot is going to look good. Trace around the spout. Because I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw another circle about a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. And you're just going to make a series of holes, which makes like a little mini strainer inside of the opening. Because a strainer is much cuter than a like, hole. <laughs> They are so cute. Look at them. It is, though. I agree with Alex Brown. It's going to slip all the way around. <laughs> this clay is pretty firm, but it's flexible enough that you saw I was able to bend the bottom, which is nice because then it wraps around. Yep, and then you pull it down. Get some water and then pull. She put into a half part or squat feels a little low. That's how I'm gonna put it right there. So now I need to mark and then I'll score and slip it on. Make sure that this is all straight. You don't want the handle off to one side or the other. I'm a little teeth. Say hi, Mary. 